this is what it looks like right when you walk into my room for the first time. And let's go ahead and start with the setup so I don't waste any of your time. The foundation of my setup is a custom built desk that my dad and I made. And the best part about it is that it has something called a secret cable drawer. Basically what this does is when I push on it, there's a magnet that drops a door revealing all my cables. And there are five little holes on the back of this cable drawer that allow me to feed cables up from my setup down into my cable drawer. Just to show you, here's an example of the cables being fed into the cable drawer, and it's one of my favorite parts about this desk. Moving on, let's talk about my audio gear. For filming, streaming, making videos, and just everything in general, I use the Rode PSA-1 connected to the Rode pod mic with an XLR cable routed under my front part of the desk into my GoXLR Mini. Connected to my GoXLR, I actually converted from closed back to open back and it was one of the best decisions I made. These are the Sennheiser HD 58X and it's one of my favorite open back headphones. I've recently started condensing everything in my setup to needs, not wants. So I've really tried to eliminate any peripherals I don't need. Starting off with the first one, we have the Stream Deck Plus. The best part about this Stream Deck is it has dials very similar to the sliders on the GoXLR Mini. Not to mention with this new Stream Deck, you can now swipe and add different pages. For the keyboard, I'm not rocking my custom built. This is actually a fully Lego keyboard. It sounds really nice with their own custom switches. It has RGB, and the best part is it's all Lego, which is super unique. I also have a white coiled cable to match the Lego keyboard. For my mouse, I originally had a black G Pro Superlight that broke, and I love the mouse so much I bought it again. I did replace these stock feet with some Tiger Ice feet and added some side grip. Little tip, get black grip for both sides because if you get white, you could just see all the dirt and kind of grime that's built up after hours of use. For the mouse pad to complement the white theme, this is the Gutsy Aiden. I'm pretty sure it's the Avalanche mouse pad. I could be wrong. As for the newest part of the setup, this is the brand new PC. If you haven't already, make sure you check out some of the long form videos on this PC, but this was an absolute hassle to build, but so worth it. All the components are sitting inside of the brand new NZXT H9 Elite. Big shout outs to MSI for sending out the all white Trio 4070 Ti, which is an absolute beast. I'm rocking an Aurorus X570 motherboard with a Ryzen 9 5950X connected to the NZXT Z73 AIO. I have a total of seven Lee and Lee fans and three of the NZXT fans. This does sound a little bit weird, but I have 48 gigabytes of DDR4, 3600 megahertz rated. I have a 500 gigabyte M.2, a eight terabyte hard drive, and a MSI 1300 watt power supply. As for my camera setup, we have a cheap $15 tripod for Amazon that I use this camera for for stream. I have a C920 as my webcam connected to this mount that hooks to my monitor arms. For my lighting, I have a ring light and a softbox. As for the new monitor layout, the main monitor is an Asus 280 hertz monitor. The top monitor is an Acer 144 hertz monitor. And this one is actually my brother's old monitor that I replaced with that previous small one. It fits a lot better. And even though it's got bigger bezels, it looks better in my setup compared to the previous one. This is sitting on a single monitor mount. And the top two monitors are mounted on one arm. Trust me, this doesn't look right, but I promise you it's fine. I know it leans a lot. It's just the way it's made. I promise you it's sturdy and not gonna fall over. Underneath the desk, we have my mini fridge. I don't find myself using this as much as I used to. And it's kind of disappointing. It's just really expensive to restock it. I feel like every time I restock it, my family drinks all the drinks and they're gone within a week. As for the chair, I'm still rocking with the Mavix M5. A little bit overpriced, but I love the chair. Let's go ahead and talk about this section of my room. On the bottom part, right near the trim, I added this Govi Glide and I think it looks super cool in the setup. Like I previously mentioned, I've also tried to consolidate to needs, not wants, and really try to simplify the look of my shelves. So over here, I have my first keyboard, my custom keyboard, a baseball that got signed, some souvenir cups, football helmets, and a replica of Wrigley Field. Up here, took everything off and just simply have two Lego cars. I have my typewriter keyboard, a keyboard I built, a controller, a box full of some personal things, a broken keyboard, and my 50% keyboard, which I probably could just put some of these in my closet. Up here is where I get the most questions. Not all of these boxes do have iPhones in them. Some of the older ones do, but these are just all empty boxes. I got rid of a lot. It does still look a little bit cluttered, and I'm gonna try to go through and get rid of the ones I don't need or like duplicates of each other. But I've always kind of kept it, and I kind of like the look of it because it gets people asking questions. And then up here, we just have some pictures of when I was little, and we have my stream camera. I'll throw up a clip from my stream of what this POV looks like. Moving over to the bed, this is probably one of my favorite parts of my setup and maybe one of the most unique parts of it. This is a floating bed and I'll put the link in the description to the YouTube video of us fully building this. I built this bed, not including the mattress, for $150. I highly suggest doing it if you have the room shape for it. And like I said, I'll leave the video down below which has the build instructions and everything if this is something that you guys wanna do. I do have a floodlight down here as well as some RGB strips that go under the bed and a Govi wall light. Over here, as of today, I just installed this Metafire which is pretty much an air purifier. It matches my setup 
setup looks pretty cool and helps with dust and pet hair and other things like that. Over here's my full racing sim. I'll leave a link to the full YouTube video on this as well. Huge shout out to Moza for sending out all the gear. This is the Moza R5 bundle. It comes with a bunch of steering wheels, the actual shifter, the e-brake, the pedals, all the fancy gear. This was a very long process to build. Super fun when I do have the time to play it. Moving over, we do have my productivity setup. Nothing here has changed from the previous setup tour video. Still rocking with the ultra wide monitor, the M1 MacBook Pro. I do have five terabytes of storage because I do all my video editing and content work on this setup. I'm rocking with the Gutsy Aiden slush collab. I'm pretty sure this is the Tranquility mouse pad in the blue variant. For the keyboard, this is the Drop TKL. Still using the Glorious Modelo and I have the Grove Made MagSafe charger as well as a floodlight on the right corner. And this is just a simple old office chair that originally used to be my main chair before I bought this one. I've kind of kept a theme going on with the rope lights. We got one above my productivity setup and as well as one going around my window. I do think the RGB is slightly overkill and that's something I've kind of tried to slowly veer away from and just can't seem to really do it. And for those of you who are wondering, yes, I do live in the woods and this is my view from my room. I typically have the windows open and the blinds open as it gets very hot, but during the summer, I try to keep everything shut because it's like 80 to 90 degrees outside most of the time. If you're curious or interested in anything I have in my setup, I'll leave links down below to products, components, peripherals, and even videos to things that I've built in my setup, like my PC, racing sim, floating bed, and other things like that. So if you're looking for any information about anything, make Make sure you check the description down below. Not to mention, I do stream over on Twitch. I love talking about games, setups, and really anything. So make sure you follow the Twitch down below in the description as well as the other socials. Enough boring you guys. I hope you went on to enjoy this video. If you did, feel free to hit a like, subscribe, share it with a friend, turn on the post notifications. Y'all know the drill, and I will catch you guys in the next one.